Okay, now we're going to look at some pelvic models so we can see some of these things on. Okay, on this one here you can see your abdominal aorta, common iliac on both sides, artery and vein. Common iliac artery comes down and branches into internal iliac artery and external iliac artery. So this would be external iliac artery and vein. Internal iliac is going to come down into the pelvis and give off some branches. One of those is superior gluteal, which is here. You can see the piriformis muscle right here behind the sacral plexus, and superior gluteal artery is above it. Below piriformis is your inferior gluteal artery. And a little farther down is your internal pudendal artery here. You can also see your obturator artery here running through the obturator foramen. Now you'd have the obturator nerve running with it as well. Here's your inguinal ligament. You can see as external, external iliac artery and vein pass through this ligament, they become femoral artery and vein. So if it was tagged on this side, it would be femoral artery. If it was on this side, it would be external iliac artery. On the back, we can see piriformis, sciatic nerve. This nerve right here is internal pudendal. You can see it coming out, going underneath this ligament, and coming out between the thighs and feeding the muscles and the skin of the pudendum, which is that area between the thighs around the genitalia. So this is pudendal nerve as well. Here's branches from pudendal nerve feeding the reproductive organs. This model right here, we can see similar things on. Uh, one nice thing on this too, you've also got the ureter, which is in pink. You've also got the gonadal, in this case, ovarian, artery and vein, because this is a female. You've got three holes, one, two, three, makes it a female. This is common iliac artery and vein, internal iliac artery, first branch superior gluteal artery, second branch inferior gluteal artery, here's piriformis, this one internal pudendal artery, obturator artery and nerve going through the obturator foramen. We turn it over, oh, and we can see iliacus and psoas major muscle here. There's your obturator artery coming out through the obturator foramen. We turn it over, we can see pudend uh, piriformis, sciatic nerve, superior gluteal artery above piriformis, inferior gluteal artery below piriformis. This little artery and nerve are your pudendal. So this is internal pudendal artery and pudendal nerve. <coughs> and then this is your sciatic. This model here, abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava, ovarian artery and vein, ureter, common iliac artery and vein, internal iliac vein and artery, external iliac artery and vein. These are all reproductive things. Here's rectum, epiploic appendages, Tinea coli, haustra, appendix, ilium, cecum, inguinal ligament, femoral artery and vein, femoral nerve, psoas major, psoas, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> Probably psoas minor, it's hard to tell. Um, turn it on the back. I don't know if we can see anything else that we need to for this part. You can see internal pudendal artery and pudendal nerve feeding the area between the thighs. And we'll do all these reproductive structures when we do this again. All right, I just wanted to show you some more of these uh, lower extremity things on some torsos here. Here's our abdominal aorta, common iliac artery, external iliac artery, external iliac vein. Here's your ureter. This is testicular artery and vein in this case because it's a boy. 
Um, you can see testicular artery coming right off the abdominal aorta. And on this right side, you can see the testicular vein dumping into the inferior vena cava. On this side, notice what happens with the testicular vein. So the left testicular vein comes up, follows the artery for a while, but then dumps into the left renal vein. That is very important. And we'll talk about a pathophysiological reason um, that men have trouble on the left side and not on the right, but you do need to know that that dumps in the left renal vein on the left side. You can see your internal iliac artery and vein here. Here's your external iliac passing through that inguinal canal becoming femoral artery, femoral vein, and this is actually your great saphenous vein coming up and dumping into the femoral vein. Here's testicular artery and vein on the, um, in the spermatic cord here. You can follow those up. Here's your rectum, urinary bladder, kidneys, adrenal glands, you can see uh, an adrenal vein here, celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery. Uh, I guess there's no inferior mesenteric artery on this one. Splenic artery and vein. Looking at this one, we have a nice superior mesenteric artery and vein, abdominal aorta, common iliac artery and vein, internal iliac artery, vein, external iliac artery and vein, here's a ureter, gonadal artery and vein on both sides. Looking down in the pelvis, you can see your superior iliac artery, I mean internal iliac artery, sorry, giving off superior gluteal artery, inferior gluteal artery, internal pudendal artery. Here is your obturator artery and nerve here. External iliac artery and vein passing through the inguinal canal to become femoral artery and vein. And great saphenous vein dumping into femoral vein. Alrighty, another torso here. Here's our diaphragm, here's our inferior vena cava, abdominal aorta, celiac trunk with left gastric, splenic artery, common hepatic artery, superior mesenteric artery, inferior mesenteric artery, left renal artery, le right renal artery, right renal vein, left renal vein, here's an adrenal vein and artery, here are your paired gonadal arteries, left and right. Gonadal vein, you can see here on the left, remember, comes straight up and dumps into the left renal vein, left renal vein. On this side, we can see a ureter in, or here's a ureter in pink here. This is just a nerve, probably genitive femoral nerve because it's sitting on top of this muscle, so as major. Okay, so ureter, genitive femoral nerve. Here's your common iliacs where your aorta is branching. Common iliac arteries, veins. Looking down a little farther, we can see our common iliac branching into internal iliac artery and external iliac artery. Here's the external iliac vein, internal iliac vein. Let's see if we can zoom in here a bit. We can see coming off of the internal iliac artery here, superior gluteal artery. And this one, it's a little difficult to tell where your inferior gluteal artery is, probably here. Internal pudendal, I'm guessing on this guy is right here, but it's not a great example of that. And then this would be your obturator artery, so it's going to come forward and go through that obturator foramen. <coughs> if we look coming out of the inguinal canal here, we have our femoral artery. And then femoral vein would be right next door. This is not femoral vein, however. This is superficial. So this is going to be a great saphenous vein dumping into the femoral vein here. This is your iliacus muscle. So as major, quadratus lumborum back here. Adrenal glands, kidney. That's pretty much it for this guy. 
And now we'll look at this guy on the back side. Uh, you can see some back muscles here, which is Miss Dorsey. This would be your trapezius up here, which is Miss Dorsey. Um, teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus. Occipital artery up here, going up the occipital bone. You have a posterior and a costal nerve here. Here's your gluteus maximus. It's been cut on this side. You can see gluteus minimus under here. Piriformis here. Sciatic nerve in gray. One, two, three little muscles. This would be your superior gemellus, your obturator internus, your inferior gemellus, and this is your quadratus femoris. It's square shaped. And that's about it on this guy, on the back. All right, a few more things on the back. There are some things on the back you have to know, like muscles and stuff. This is trapezius, and we'll look at all these on another model too. This is latissimus dorsi, teres minor, teres major, infraspinatus, deltoid. This is part of your erector spinae group, but most of it's been cut off of her. We'll look at that on a different model. Looking down here, we can see the gluteus maximus was here. It's been cut off. This is gluteus minimus, piriformis, sciatic nerve, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, quadratus femoris. This one doesn't have a whole lot either. Gluteus maximus, of course. Um, we have some more back muscles here. Latissimus dorsi, trapezius on both sides, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major, deltoid. We also have the occipital artery here, occipital nerve here in the back. Uh, 